Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for locally grown and responsibly handled Bible study. Last week we looked at the first part of Psalm 103. Today we're going to look at part two. And we ended last week with the statement, For as the heaven is high above the earth. Now the heaven is uh, is going to illustrate for us the depth of God's mercy, which God's mercy is in clear view here at the end of Psalm 103, or the end of the first half. Begin with verse 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, plenteous in mercy. And we talked about uh, the Lord's mercy last week in 9, 10, and 11 we begin to illustrate the wonder of his mercy. And we continue that with the key clause beginning in 11. Key is a Hebrew word that's usually translated for. Sometimes it's translated like. You'll find both translations here in the King James Version um, beginning in 11. For as, so the for there is, begins that key clause. So we're making a comparison. There's the, we're, we're doing an illustration here to help us with this idea of God's mercy. The heaven is high above the earth. So how high is that? We talked about that last time. You know, you can go through the atmosphere, past the moon, past the sun, past all the visible stars, and still you're heading into the heavens. The heavens, who knows how tall or how deep or how high heaven is above the earth. Well, that's just how high and deep God's mercy is towards them that fear him. Now we come to 12, and I'm going to read 12 and 13 for you today. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. So again, we're creating for ourselves this visual illustration of the heavens, how high it is now, how wide is the mercy of God. As far as the east is from the west, how far is that? Well, if you started going east right now from wherever you are, and you just kept going east, you could go clean around the globe going east until you arrived at your current location, and you could still continue to go east again. So there's no end to how far the east is. There's no point at which you reach a wall and it says, here's the east. The same with the west. So as far as they are from one another, which is infinity. I mean, there's never an end point. There's never a starting or stopping place for east and west. That's how far he removes our transgressions from us. His mercy extends to us in such a way that he takes our transgressions and puts them so far from us that we can't even imagine how far away it is. His mercy towards us is so deep that we cannot even imagine how deep his mercy is. And then we have, in verse 13, the next key statement, like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Now that word pitieth is that shadow word that I talked about last week. We have the word for loving kindness, which is also sometimes translated mercy. And we have this word, which is translated tender mercy or compassion. Here it's translated pitieth by the King James translators. Actually, they're translating the Septuagint, but the Septuagint translates it as pity. And it just means the tender tender compassion of a father. A father is tenderly compassionate towards his own child. I mean, nature teaches us that. You know, Jesus, when he talked about prayer, said, you know, what father among you, when his son asks for uh, bread, he gives him a stone? No, no father does that, because fathers love their children. So as, as the father tenderly is compassionate towards his child, so the Lord is tenderly compassionate towards those that fear him. So we have this beautiful illustration of the height and depth and width and breadth of the mercy of God. And now again, the mercy of God is compared to a father who tenderly cares for his children. Well, that will take us now to verse 14, and we'll pick up right there tomorrow on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. 
The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.